Whoa. Good morning, ladies and folks. As you can see, I am um, working on these Russian Cossacks. So this is the job I hate more than anything, getting the flash off the figures. I just, I just loathe this job. But I guess it's like they say, it's all in the prep. And that's, that's, that's the same with a painting. You want to do a painting, it's all in the prep. Get the prep right. Then you're pretty much um, laughing, you know, because... It, it, it makes such a difference. These figures are actually, these are um, Italari. I think that's how you pronounce it. Italari. But they're um, really pretty good for flesh. All they really have on them is some mold lines. I don't mean they're going moldy, I mean that they have some, well they were moldy. So that's really, and there's a little bit between the back legs, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really see that. But down in there, there's a little bit in the, but I think you just about see it there now. There's a little bit in between the legs, it's taking out. It looks odd, so just cut it out, you know, cut it out, which you can easily do with your super sharp exacto knife, or whatever knife you have, you know, you can just pull that right out, and it, yeah, it looks a whole pile Neater. So yeah, what I was going to say before I forgot, because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, is a happy Christmas to everyone. I hope you have a nice time, whatever you do for Christmas. Me personally. I'm just trying to avoid it, really. It's, uh, unfortunately, um, Christmas actually, come on, you can come out. A little piece of, little piece of stuff that doesn't want to come out. Christmas is actually like death in a lot of ways. It's um, unavoidable. I mean, it's just... <laughs> But yes, it's not for me. I mean, it's too commercialized, you know, and I start badgering you about it in September, you know, and I, oh no, here we go again. And by the time Christmas actually gets here, you know, it's, it's like, um, you're sick and fed up of it because You've had so much of it from September onwards. They're putting stuff in the shops in September. You know. For goodness sakes, you know. I mean, do it at the end of November or something. I mean, pfft. but that's commercialization for you, I guess. That's the that is the world in which we live, ladies and gentlemen. Oh look, the sun's coming out. Thank God. My body will never take it. No. I will shrivel up like Count Dracula. Ah. Yeah, so I'm... I think these figures are going to be... very nice when they're done. I mean, the detailing on them is really nice. 
you know. I like them a lot. I, I, I'm looking at this horse and I'm thinking for some reason, I don't know why. The face on the horse just looks a bit um, Christmas crackery, you know what I mean? When we was kids and we had Christmas crackers, you used to get cowboys and Indians on horses in the crackers as the novelty. And the face on this horse you know, reminds me of that. I mean, obviously, overall, it's better quality than what we had as kids. But, uh, yeah, it reminds me of that. But uh, otherwise, I mean, these are really, really nice. I mean, very good, yeah. But it's, yeah, no, it's not a job I've ever liked doing, prepping minis. I know it has to be done, and you have to get on with it, but it's, um, yeah, it's not my favorite job at all. I'm, I'm always very glad, always very glad when it's over, you know, I can get on with the real fun bit, which is putting the colour on them, you know. That's, that's, that's the fun bit, putting the colour on them. Yeah, it's just really on these, it's just mould lines, you know. Yeah, oh, took a bit off that. Oh, sugar. See, you must be careful with your knife. So I'm going to have to restore that. That's okay, a little bit of filler or something. I mean, it's just... It's not serious. It's not serious, but do not do it again. So I was watching... Last night... I don't know how many of you out there have seen the film School for Scoundrels. Anybody out there seen that film? Alistair Sim, Ian Carmichael, and Terry Thomas. If you haven't seen it, folks, get a copy and watch it because it's wonderful. It's great fun. It's a black and white sort of 1950s type film which I really love, 1950s films. This is real, a really fun film. A little cameo appearance by, um, what's that lady called, Irene Handel, who was in a lot of 1950s films. But I really like um, Terry Thomas and Ian Carmichael. All those 50s people are just they're just so good at what they did. You know, Wilfred Hyde White and Lionel Jeffries is another one. And um, I'm trying to think of the other no. Peter Sellers is another one I really like. Yeah, they were just sort of old line. No. They were just wonderful at what they did, you know, just sheer talent. And I really like that. Ah, a little bit between the legs here. So that's, so if you get a chance, folks, watch School for Scoundrels. It's a beautiful film. I wish they'd make a colorized version of it or something which is um, quite in vogue these days, making colored versions of old films. I mean, I have 
Scrooge, A Christmas Carol with Alistair Sim and it's been coloured and it's um, actually I have to say whoever's coloured it has done a reasonable job it's really quite good so yeah I like these old 50s movies I'm an old movies. I'm not so movie buff but you know I I like all this stuff. I like making movies. I like talking to you people. Nobody ever fucking watches me, but I like making <laughs> Come on, folks. Watch my videos. Yeah. So. Prepping the minis. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a slow job. Because... Well, you know, you want to get it right. And like I say, really, with these, the flash is very um, minimal. It's, it's good. It's good. Some figures you get, there's flash all over the place, and you have to... It takes ages to get rid of it all. I mean, there's, I can think of some Airfix figures like that, and the flash is just ridiculous. But these are, yeah, they're, they're good. It's just... Uh, can I take a bit out of that? It's just uh, mold lines more than anything. is good, it's good, makes my life a lot easier. So how many is that? We've got three, six, this is seven. So we've got one left, one horse left. Yeah, I was, I tell what I was doing the other evening. I was playing Monopoly. How many of you out there play Monopoly. Well, I was playing on my computer and it took me two and a quarter hours to beat the machine. At one point I actually, shame I cut that, I, I actually didn't think I would beat it. Because, um, excuse me a moment, I didn't think I would beat it because everything I owned was mortgaged and I had no money, so it was just really part luck that I kept going, but I managed to turn it round and yeah, it took me two and a quarter hours to beat the machine, but yeah, it's a bit of fun. People seem to play Monopoly at Christmas more than any other time. It's, it, I don't know why it's a Christmas game, Monopoly. How many of you out there play Monopoly? I wonder if they play it online. Yeah, so this is the last one. I'll tell you what I did. In our last video, we showed you this horse with the tail broken off. Well, as you can see, the tail is now back on. It's super glued and pinned. And yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, happy with that. So, this is the last. Um, this is the last horse. Which is nice. Um, I don't think there's much. I don't think there's much to doing the um, riders. I, I really think they're pretty good. 
biggest job is the horses. Getting the flesh off the horses. That's the, the biggest job. I mean, there's a mold line here. On the saddle, down the center of the saddle, but we won't worry too much about that because the rider is going to be on there anyway. So, well, I've gone over 15 minutes here, so I'm going to stop the video and start another one because if you go too long, I don't know, they take forever to upload onto YouTube. It's just so.